Welcome to this new flight simulator update movie. In this movie, we're gonna look at this aircraft. It's the Curtis GN4 Jenny, which received a new update as part of uh, Simulator number 12. And what's that update? Well, it has received an electronic flight bag. Where can you find it? Well, if you go to the aircraft, there you will find it over here in the phone holder. And there are, I would say, a limited set of options. Uh, first of all, there's the uh, communication, which you can uh, change, right? So you can change the frequency uh, and also, uh, say, after the digits and switch between standby and the active communication radio, as well as change the transform, right? You can use the dial pad over here uh, or, the, say, the pad over here to change the uh, the code. And then you've got the uh, multiple buttons like ident, uh, alt, uh, you can set the, v the VFR, you can set it to switch it to on, etc. That's one functionality. The other one is the compass. The compass shows you the flight direction as well as the speed in knots, right? So if you would, I would say, if I would increase the speed now a bit, then you would see it will be, I would say, will uh, start increasing. There you go, right? So that's, that's being added as part of uh, sim update number 12, at least the beta version. So I do expect, oh, here we go. I do expect that they will add some more functions, maybe somewhere in the future, uh, while we're almost crashing. So let's say, be careful. So I can break. Uh, so that's that's cool, right? So if you uh, let's say we're looking for a system which would provide you, let's say, the electronic flight back as well as the uh, let's say a device which shows you the speed and direction you are flying, that's now being included uh, in the in this nice aircraft, the Curtis GN4 Jenny. Be aware that this is the beta version of the sim update, uh, so you need to, or you might need to wait a while before you have it, because uh, you might not have are participating in the beta. So if you're participating in the beta, then you can use it. If not, uh, then I would say you can't. Um, is there a way to hide it? Uh, yes, uh, there is an edit the right bracket in the cockpit to show or hide the uh, the system right so let me show you uh so if i'm correct the bracket uh, where is it you should be able to uh, remove it uh, if i'm correct but <laughs> to be honest i looked at this and i couldn't find it completely uh, so it could be that it's removed and put somewhere else because this is the throttle right so bracket i would say bracket is this uh so i would have expected this to be pushed but maybe that's functionality which they will add later on so with this we end this Microsoft Flight Simulator update movie a really short run wide where we looked at the electronic flight pack which has been added to the Curtis GN4 Jenny really minimal but I think it still might be valuable in case you're using this aircraft I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.